What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Brie Monet. And today's video is going to be open up a little bit differently because I have something I want to share with you guys. So I was sent some perfumes from Dossier. I believe that's how you pronounce the company's name. I've seen some people pronounce it Dossier, but I believe it's Dossier. I believe. I think. <laughs> Any scent is $39, while designer scents range from $50 and up to $280 in retail. They have free returns and exchanges forever. They also allow customers to try the perfume before committing to them. So if you don't like the scent within the standard 30 days, you could definitely return it and get a full refund, no questions asked. They have great bulks on their website, up to 25% discount and free shipping for three bottles. They also have a welcome offer up to 20% off and you could get up to 30% off on your first order by using the discount code. The extra 10% applies to checkout on the top of the website offer and you could use my discount code which is brimonet 10 And they also have a new payment method which basically lets you earn store credits. All you have to do is just select catch at the last step of your checkout and you'll earn $10 towards your store credit. You'll also get rewarded with 10% store credit on each and every order. They're also adding new scents to the collection all the time. So if you want to add a suggestion, please feel free to do so. They not only sent me one, but they sent me two. Okay, they sent me two. <laughs> Let me start off with this one. And this is a little packaging, so simple. This is the box. And it comes with a little card. Okay, so the first one that I have is Floral Pink Pepper, and it is inspired by Miss Dior, and the concentration is 18%. So we are going to spray this and see how she smells. It smells so good. One spritz of it is actually filling up my room, so that means I don't have to put that much on. Y'all, it's... <sighs> I can't stop smelling it. <laughs> It smells so good, oh my goodness. This one is Fruity Almond, and let me just tell y'all, okay? So Fruity Almond is inspired by Good Girl, and the concentration is 15%. And for Christmas, guess what I got my mom? So we have a good comparison right here, okay? Okay. Y'all. Why does it smell just like, heck nah, why does it smell just like it? Okay, wait, let me, let me, wait, let me compare it. I need something else to spray this on. I sprayed it on the box. It smells just like it. I will say that the fruity almond one is a bit stronger you can't really tell the difference for something so simple to smell like this and for this to be affordable i'm definitely gonna go for this one like now i really want to go on their website and see what else they have because i'm going to order some more thank you guys for sending this because this is definitely something i'm going to use and cherish i'm going to tell all my friends about it Friends, family, I'm definitely glad that I get to share it on my YouTube with you guys because if I'm getting put on, I'm definitely going to put you guys on. So if you're looking to purchase anything from the website, make sure you check out the description box down below. I'm definitely going to leave a code down there for you guys as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, you guys, so we're back with another wig video from You Nice, You Nice, whatever tickles your fancy. I'm gonna say it both ways, so this way I'm not saying wrong. We all pronounce it differently. So this is what comes in the package. So we have some eyelashes. We also have hair clips, of course a wig cap, and then they also sent a scarf. And then this is the wig. So you guys, we have a straight 13 by four lace front wig and it's 16 inches. So it's already pre-plugged, but y'all already know I love going in and plucking it myself. Um, you don't have to do this method because if it's already pre-plugged, you don't really have to. But I love for my lace to give scalp. So we gonna pluck it, okay? We gonna pluck it by section. So I'm doing my first section, I do three in total. And all you're gonna do is the one, two, three, a move method. I say move because if you stay in one spot, you will ball the wig. So when I say move, move your tweezers, girl. 
So I'm going to do the other side, but this is what the other side looks like untouched and actually out the pack. So now I'm just going to take my Nairobi mousse and we are going to put that all over the hair, especially in the front. So this way we can push the hair back because later on we are going to hot comb it so the hair can actually lay flat. So after I wait for that mousse to dry, I actually go back in with my wax stick and basically do the same exact thing. Y'all got to understand, using the hot comb is my favorite part until it actually burns you. Mm -mm, this is why I use my mannequin. Anyway, so we are going to make sure that our hair lays flat. And y'all see what it looks like on the side? Look at the plucking that I did. I did a good job on this wig. But we are basically going to keep running our hot comb through the hair to make sure everything is good and dandy. And the hair lays flat. Like, literally flat. And this is what it looks like, y'all, up close. It looks so good. So next we're going to move on to the next step which is basically our ball cap method i use got to be spray and i'm not going to have this wig on for you know a long time i actually had that wig on just for that day because i had to change my wig out but i'm just going to do one layer next we're just going to blow dry it next you're going to cut it but make sure you're taking your time because if you rush too much you could kind of pull it up a little bit too much and then your ball cap is ruined so make sure you're taking your time next you're going to take some foundation i'm using this old foundation that i had because i don't use my foundation anymore i just use concealer but you're going to put that all over your cap so this is what the inside of the wig looks like of course we have our combs our adjustable bands and there's lace in the back so then i'm going to put some glue this glue is basically good if you want your wigs to last like two to three days, even more, depending on how you take care of it. For the purpose of the video, I basically just did this glue instead. And you're going to put it like right before the line that you cut. And if you are putting it on the line, make sure that you use your blow dryer. You're going to see me do that in a few seconds. And this basically prevents the wig from sliding back from what you just applied. And this is the same glue, but just like in spray form. So... And we're going to blow dry it just like we did with the other one. Now we're going to put the lace down. And I do want to note that the lace in the front was kind of, I don't know, it gave like a widow's peak type thing situation going on. But this is big head friendly. I was so happy that the lace actually reaches my ear. It was, you know what, it was a beautiful sight to see y'all. It was a beautiful sight to see. But we're just going to blow dry that. So I didn't really like the Whittles P type look it was giving me. So I definitely need to add some baby hair. And you could definitely just leave it the way it was. But it, for me, no. I saw this method on TikTok where it where she was basically saying use the C-shaped method to carve out your baby hair. And it gives you the perfect amount each and every time. And y'all, I haven't looked back since. Like, it works so good. And look at me do it on the other side, y'all. It works so good and it looks so clean so i sprayed got to be glue on top of my baby hair so they could stay in and i put elastic band down and now i cut it and now i'm just going to add my heat protector because we are going to flat iron it so i was a little bit confused because the layers look completely different in person than it did on the website so you are going to have to cut it if you want the exact layers that it looks like on the website so that's what i'm doing right now at first i started out with my comb and then i was flat iron it but then i was like yeah no i need my scissors so that's basically what i was doing i was going back and forth cutting and also flat iron it to make sure i was getting my desired look and just to save us from this long behind process i skipped everything because i was doing the same thing over and over again but you know i don't cut hair and why were my baby hair so long i don't freaking know i had to cut it so now i'm just going to swoopy swoop it y'all i use some edge control I didn't want my edges to be crisp. I wanted them to be like light and fluffy. So that's the reason why I use edge control. Next, I just went in with some powder because, you know, I wanted to look like scalp. So we just did that. And then, y'all, I actually really, really liked it. It came out really good. Y'all, this is the wig. And let me tell you something, boy. Okay. This wig is bomb. I'm in love with it. Like... Up, this is what it looks like up close and when i tell you it just looks really good it's ridiculous why is my baby here over here um making some noise um hello ma'am or sir whatever you want to be called I, I just need you to get in place two things that i really want to touch base on because i was a little confused when i first received it so as y'all saw i flat ironed it but it wasn't in layers that it claimed it was in you do have to go in and cut it i highly suggest using scissors the scissors worked better for me what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut on an angle um don't just cut straight across cut like down here just do that and then you're perfectly fine and they said out the pack is supposed to be layered 
it wasn't giving layered. The lace pretty much was giving. Make sure y'all stay tuned for a graduation vlog, just letting y'all know, okay? Period. Yeah, I gotta change my wig, so I was like, dang, I can't glue this down the way I really want to. And it's so pretty. I don't know if they already bleached the knots or whatever, and it already came pre-plucked and stuff too, so I didn't really have to do a lot of plucking. I mean, I did, but still. The hair is so smooth too, like, y'all, I could just run my fingers through it all day. And she moves. The lace is bomb. It was easy for me to put on. And y'all know how I be. I'm lazy, okay? I don't like hard work. I'm not going to. <laughs> the whole bleaching, not staying, and then staying up all night trying. Mm-mm. Not for me. No. I'm lucky I do the ball cap method and glue this thing down because if I had to bleach the knots, oh, you doing too much, my friend. Too much. But yeah, I haven't received any shedding or tangling or anything. Oh, this is really my favorite. And I'm... I'm really upset that I gotta take it out. <laughs> this is the life of a wig influencer, y'all. What a life. Turn around so you guys can see where it actually stops. Um, it stops like in the middle of my back. So what we gotta do, if I had to rate this from one to 10, y'all, we giving it a thousand above a 10. This is dope. Like, I'm so in love with this. Like, I haven't been excited for a wig in a long time. And a lot of y'all be so surprised when I be like, Amazon, you be like, huh? Yeah, Amazon has everything, boo. Save your coins and get your wig from Amazon. I'm telling you. But that is all I have for you guys today. And if you're looking to purchase this wig, make sure you check out my Amazon storefront. Make sure you check out the description box down below. Also, follow me on all my social medias. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Is that you in the